Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. six hours to go so let's go do that and uh, have ourselves a good day here we are going through Fargo North Dakota yeah we are still driving in rain we will be in Minnesota here very shortly not going to be very long and we will be in Minnesota. Yeah. Continue on this road for 160 miles. We have about 250 miles to go and we'll be at our delivery place. Oh man, this rain is almost depressing. I rained all yesterday afternoon already and, and now it's still raining. Oh. Plus, it's pretty windy right now. Anyways, let's go see if the scale is open over here in, to Minnesota. They got a fairly big scale up here. See what they're up to today. And then I guess we'll be... Uh, hopefully they'll let us go. Hopefully they'll let us go. Yeah. What did I tell you guys? This scale is almost always open. Now we gotta go in and find out what they want from us. Yeah. Let's go see if they want anything from us today. I don't know why, but almost every time I come into Minnesota, this, this scale is open and also the one there where you come from uh, from Wisconsin into uh, Minnesota there or like Minneapolis area there it seems like those scales are always open I don't know these two like this one and then the one there by Minneapolis it just seems like that they are 99% out of the time they are open well this one usually closes at night but uh, all right even us, it seems like they want everybody on the scale today. Like they must be picking on somebody today because I'm really light. I'm only 14,000 pounds. Like what the heck? Why would they want me on the scale? I guess we'll have to go find out. Let's go see what they want. See, the other guys are getting the bypass well. Like I'm not even heavy. Like what the heck? 14,400 and somewhat pounds in the box and they want me to come onto the scale. Like they have a pre-scale up there. So they already know what my weight is. Yeah. Looks like their lights are not working correctly up there. It says move ahead and on the top the, the stoplight is on too. <laughs> I guess they want you to move ahead and then stop on the scale. 
Let's see, let's open the window a little bit so if they scream something at me so I can hear them. Let's see, yeah, that stoplight stays on, so that's probably. They're probably having a problem with it. That's probably what it is. Now they're saying move ahead slowly. And they actually have a scale here that scales each individual axle too, so. Yeah. I have the big numbers on here right here, so. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Okay, to departure to I-94. That's what we like. That's what we like. We got a bunch of DOT cars in here. Let's get back on the highway and get out of here before they want something from us. Otherwise they might be on camera again. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, we are in Minneapolis now. We're about 12 miles away from our delivery. Looks like we got a little bit of a traffic jam going on up here. Now earlier we had a little bit of construction and then uh, that slowed down pretty good already and now we got some kind of traffic jam again. I don't see no construction up here but some kind of traffic jam, a lot of traffic on here, that's for sure. Hopefully we can make it though. Hopefully we can make it to our delivery place here pretty soon. Get this stuff off. Mind you, I haven't gotten any reloads yet, but... Hopefully that will come through soon too. I wonder what they're building up here. They're building something up there. Oh well. <clears throat> and it's still raining. It still is. Yeah well. Anyways, let's get over there and hopefully we can get unloaded ASAP and get ourselves a reload and make our way home. Alrighty guys, we just finished getting unloaded here a few minutes ago. It was just one mile down the road here, pretty much. Now we're trying to get back onto the 9, 494. We just got a reload. We're going to go to uh, Wisconsin. Pick up a reload over there and go back to our terminal in Steinbach, Manitoba. So it looks like we should be able to make it home there tomorrow night. And then... Uh, should go camping on Saturday. At least that's my plan. This road for 12 miles. Be camping Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That should be fun. At least I think so. Just a bit of a rush hour here right now, so hopefully it won't be like this all the way around the 494 because we got about 12 miles to go. I want to get out of here. I want to be home tomorrow. Yep. Anyways, let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, we just turned off the interstate. <clears throat> now we're going to go on back roads. Well, not really super back roads, but... We're on US 10 right now. We have about 74 miles to go and we'll be at our uh, pickup place. Yeah. Really hoping that they'll uh, let me uh, pick up my load there and uh, stay there overnight. Because I don't think they can go any further tonight. So we'll see how that goes. But I just had stopped there for a little bit with raining and now it seems like it's every time I turn on the camera it starts raining again. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty guys, we are finished for today. 
We have, uh, you know, done our pickup over here in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. That's where we picked up our uh, load. Yep, they loaded me and it's still raining. Hey, what else would be new, right? The good news is we are loaded. Locked and loaded, I would say. Yep. We got a heavy one on today. 44,714 pounds in the box. We got paper rolls, big paper rolls on there today. So, tomorrow we're going to put the hammer down home. We got 648 miles to go tomorrow. That's going to be doable. No problem, but uh, as long as we don't run into any snags, right? That's always the thing, right? As long as we don't have truck problems or any other problems, the OTs leave us alone. We should be in business. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed so I can get up early tomorrow morning and get the heck out of here. They allowed me to stay here overnight, so that's good. I'm very happy about that. So, uh, hey, we shall see you again tomorrow. Have a good one. And we will catch you again or you will catch me again on the YouTube channel tomorrow <laughs> see how I did it anyways bye <laughs>